Hey Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather, and welcome back to day 21 of our 31 Days of Samhain. And for today, we will be covering honoring past loved ones and rituals you can do to honor the past loved ones in your life. Now, it's really important to do this because it helps us establish a connection with those whom we've lost, especially if it was a traumatic loss, or even if we're just honoring those who have passed who may have been our ancestors before us. So if you guys are interested in learning more about how to honor your past loved ones and to get more info than I'm really gonna share in this video, don't forget to check out the post made by one of the hatchlings in the hatchling clan so you can incorporate this into your ritual for Samhain or something to think about and maybe to perform during this time of year to honor those whom you may have lost. Before we get into honoring our past loved ones and performing a ritual for them, I have some questions for you. Do you currently work with your ancestors? How often do you take the time to honor and work with your ancestors? Do you feel strongly connected with your ancestors? Even though we want to honor those who have passed, whom we loved, be it family members, friends, significant others, or pets, or whomever it may be, it's really important to incorporate our ancestors into this too because this is where we come from. We come from our ancestors. We share not only traits and skills and culture and even personalities, but we also share flesh and blood. And our bodies, like, are literally from their bodies you know what I mean so it's really important to acknowledge that connection and to cherish that connection and also exercise the connection so we can strengthen it and so we can have a better bond with those whom have passed for more information on the ingredients that you need the tools that you need and a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the ritual to honor your ancestors to honor those whom have passed and to honor your loved ones then please check out the post in the hatchling clan but i'm just going to give you a brief rundown as to the purpose of this particular exercise this particular ritual you're going to want to wait until nightfall and you're going to want to perform it outdoors if you can this is because the dead spirits or the spirits of the dead wander the most during this time and are easier to connect with outdoors in general with this being said, go ahead and find a place outside during the nighttime that you can really connect with them, even if that means just going out into your back or front yard. This is totally an option and will suffice. So something that this includes is prayer candles, and if this is something that you've never used before, I recommend checking out the post in the Hatchling Clan for more details. But these candles are essentially to give thanks, to send prayers, and to try and reach out to those whom we have lost. You can inscript them with sigils, symbols, and scripts, and any names of people you wish to attract, and just honor the people whom have passed. If you've never used prayer candles before, they're also nice because you can use these as an offering of light. Um, I love offering the dead light because I feel sometimes the dead are stuck in darkness and so when we offer them light or candle flames, it allows them to find where they are welcome and where they need to go to get to the next place in their experience. So bring any sort of blessings that you may have or you can perform blessings on anything that are in your ritual space like if you're using any sort of deceased animals, if you're using tools, if you're using prayer candles, whatever you're using for this ritual, make sure that you bless your space and you bless what you're using and invoke whoever you wish to have in your circle as well as give them offerings too. You're going to want to go ahead and bring something to offer the dead, maybe apple slices or a little treat, perhaps candy or something that they loved in their life. If you're working with ancestors, then offer them something that may be traditional to the culture that they were a part of or that you came from. Um, those are just some things to consider for a ritual like this as well. Don't forget to just sit there and catch up with those whom you've lost too. It's really good to just be like, hey, like I I missed you what's up how's how's the how's the afterlife kind of thing you know like just be honest with them and genuine too because sometimes there's this like barrier between the le the living and the dead and the living has a lot of fear of the dead so it's good to go ahead and you know welcome them with open arms and don't be afraid to catch up with them too and pray for them and offer them your love and your gratitude and your good thoughts and just your good energy too. So after you're done with your ritual, go ahead and clean everything up and dismiss your guardians, guides, whoever you invited, as well as those who have passed you invoked and invited into your circle. Part with them, merry meet, merry part, you know, be very nice to them, be very genuine, and send them lots of love and light. And this is what we can do, this is what we can offer those whom have passed. And after you're done, 
just keep in mind how your experience went and keep in your hearts those whom you have lost because they'll always be with you that way. And it may seem a little cheesy to think that way, but it's true. We can really unlock the energy of those whom we have lost if we just look within ourselves. And this has been true in my practice as well. So for more information on how to perform this ritual, please go check out the post in the Hatchling Clan by made, made by one of the Hatchlings. And after you have done so, I have some more questions for you to ask. For you to answer afterwards. So do you feel closer to your ancestors? Would you take the time to honor your ancestors again? And how do you feel about incorporating ancestors into your practice? So that's pretty much it for day 21 of our 31 days of Samhain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments about how to honor your past loved ones, how to perform the ritual for your ancestors and your past loved ones, please leave a comment down below in the comment section below and let me know and don't forget to ask in the Hatchling Clan too. We would love to answer your questions and we'd love to hear your experiences and share your experience with us so we can learn from your experience too because it's, it's all fun and games, you know? It's all fun, it's all good, and it's all positive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and I definitely will be honoring my loved ones this Samhain. It's something that I feel is really prominent and needed in my life right now and something that I wanted to share with you guys as well. So sending you guys endless love and positive vibes for today. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and Mickey! Yeah. Yeah. Little hatchlings. But <laughs> until next time, blessed be and bye. And it's funny that you think that I'm different when we're both made of water. It's funny.